Erev Tov, Chavarim, I'm Steve Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live, and things are heating up over with Russia and Ukraine. Uh, there's been reports coming out uh, from RT News as well as the Associated Press, BBC, all reporting about the Russian vessel blocks the Kerch Strait after Ukrainian Navy ships violate the border. Uh, that's the Russian border because Russia has uh, taken Crimea back under its own wing. And I can kind of understand why Russia is doing this because you have to understand the at the Kerch Strait, this is where Russia built their, their very pride and joy, their bridge that goes across from Russian mainland that connects Crimea. And for some time now, the Ukrainian uh, government has threatened to blow this bridge up. That'd be a major, major escalation of violence there. But according to Russia, uh, the tensions were building when uh, the Ukrainian ships entered into the uh, waters of uh, the Russian uh, government there. And Russia turned around and then fired upon, disabling two of their ships, uh, two of the uh, small, I guess, uh, uh, boats there that the Ukrainians have, as well as a tugboat and they captured them. It says here in the, in the article, the Russian authorities have taken some drastic measures in an attempt to prevent any provocations from the Ukrainian Navy ships that have approached the Kerch Strait while sailing through the Russian territorial waters without authorization. Russia has literally stopped all navigation through the waterway using a cargo ship. Videos from the scene released by the Russian media show a large bulk freighter accompanied by two Russian military boats standing under the arch of the Crimean Bridge and blocking the only passage through the strait. It is not looking like a very good situation. You want to talk about something that could escalate tensions uh, in the region. Syria is one thing. Ukraine with Russia, this could majorly explode, especially with already the United States building a military base in Ukraine and uh, NATO all wanting to take you, uh, the Crimea back under its wing away from Russia. And of course, Crimea was always a part of the Russian Federation long before it was uh, handed over the uh, certain parts of this uh, uh, island was handed over the Ukrainians for a brief period of time. I'm Steve Benoon with Israeli News Live, Erev Tov in a world of Ain Shalom.